the recluse spiders produce a very exciting venom called cytotoxic venom. Mm -hmm. And cytotoxin attacks the dermal tissue directly. Now, we do have a couple of pictures of that um, that we can see. Okay, yeah, we've got, there we go. Okay, so there we can see um, a picture of the cytotoxic venom taking effect. That's um, awful, uh, isn't it? Exactly, and what it does is it causes ulceration. Mm. And this ulceration is severe and chronic, and it tends to get worse before it gets better. Before it gets better. Mm. How long would that take? I, don't suppose, I suppose you'd always have the scarring, but how long yeah, would that um, take? Yeah, I mean, that one, I think, um, was eight days later. Wow. Mm. Mm. That's just horrible. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a really nasty venom. Now, here we have another spider. Here we have a hunting spider. Now, various different spiders produce various different effects. And hunting, wandering spiders like this are also considered quite dangerous. And uh, these come from South America. Um, there are also various other species of hunting and wandering spiders um, found also in Africa as well as Spain. Mm. And wandering spiders and hunting spiders are very agile. Unlike the black widow, they can leap um, small distances, they can jump, and they are very aggressive and they run very quickly. Okay. And also they are aggressive, so they inoculate venom quite quickly as mm. well. Mm. Mm. Now let's look at something dead here. Now here we have an. I love that word. <laughs> <laughs> here we have an interesting arachnid. This is an amblypygi. Now amblypygi is a, a primitive arachnid that is related to spiders, but they develop differently through evolution. We can see these really long whip-like appendages that the amplopygi uses to feel its way around in the dark, damp places where it lives. Um, and the, this is what gives it its name. It's called um, a whip scorpion. And it uses these modified claws here, um, a bit like a praying mantis, to mm. grasp its prey and then dig in its chelicerae and, and, and then eat into its prey. Um, but these interesting animals do not possess venom glands, so they are actually gruesome looking but harmless. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely gruesome looking. <laughs> now here we can have a closer look at a bird spider or bird eating spider. And here, I'm not sure whether the camera can pick it up, we can see the venomous fangs mm -hmm. that he uses to inoculate the venom into its prey. And bird-eating spiders are the largest spiders in the world. The Goliath bird-eating spider can comfortably span a dinner plate. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> yes. Now, I should also mention that the black widow spider, the European black widow spider, Latrodectus tridesma guttatus, is regarded as the most dangerous spider in the Mediterranean region in my book, Poisonous Creatures of the Mediterranean as is the recluse or violin spider. Mm -hmm. And we can see from the evidence of the bites why these spiders are dangerous. In fact, the violin spider, which is quite common here, I have three females living behind my bed, actually. Um, You're mad. <laughs> <laughs> that spider is actually listed on the Dangerous Wild Animals Act in the United Kingdom. Mm. And you've got three living behind your bed. <laughs> you might have one under yours and might Without not even knowing. know it. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'll be doing tonight. I should be looking. <laughs> I know you will, won't you? <laughs> now let's look at an interesting spider here. This is the Indian rainforest ornamental spider. Now this is the most feared spider in India. In southern India, where this is found, um, these spiders go under various different local names in the various different dialects of southern India. And these spiders live in the trees, so um, it's commonly known as the giant tiger spider or the tree spider. And uh, the ornamental spider from the genus Poikilotheria produce a, a, a virulent venom that can cause all sorts of systemic effects. This specimen is alive, so I'm going to open it. Now, interestingly, these spiders can actually jump um, from branch to branch. So they have this habit of jumping, and this is one of the reasons why they are so feared. So if I point it towards yes, you. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> now, now you're going to keep hold of that. I'm going to keep hold of it. Now we can see the fangs there, and we can see 
as the spider rears up the bright yellow markings underneath its legs. Can you see those bright yellow markings? Mm. And that's what indicates its venomous properties. And the chelicerae or fangs are also bright red. Okay. Mm. I'll, <laughs> I'll be very happy when you put the lid back on. <laughs> there we go. So let's just put her there. And let's look at something else. She's trying to get out now. <laughs> I know. Shall I open?